Do you have a hard time speaking smoothly whenever maybe you're giving a presentation or creating content? You'll say things like, um, you know, right or like. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to speak more smoothly and not stumble over your words. Let's get it. Okay. Hey, hi, hello, you magnificent makers, and a good evening, good afternoon, good morning, regardless of your time zone. I hope you've had or are having a fantastic day. Now, I go by the name of Isma, and I'm the founder of Makers of Content, where we help small business owners and online entrepreneurs amplify their audience, affluence, and authority using video content marketing. Now, in this video, we're talking about five tips on how to speak more clearly without stumbling over your words. Now, here's why this is even important. As a small business owner or online entrepreneur, entrepreneur or content creator, you are the face of your brand. You are the spokesperson for your business. And for people to know, like, and trust your business, they have to know, like, and trust you. And the way that that happens is that they see somebody who is convicted, confident, and clear in what it is they're presenting in relation to their business for the audience. Now, the biggest thing that gets in the way and diminishes that trust is usually when you come across as someone who's anything but those three. And the reason why that happens is usually nine times out of 10, you're not speaking in a way that's clear and you're stumbling all over the place. Now, I'm not telling you to be perfect. I'm not telling you that you have to be the best orator in the world, but I am telling you that there are ways for you to show up on a video just like this, or even in a public speaking setting and not feel like you're stumbling all over the place or using filler words or pausing for too long. And the way that you do that is you don't necessarily focus on the language that you're using, but you focus on is the audience able to follow where I'm taking them, the destination that I'm leading. And in these five tips, I'm gonna walk you exactly through how to do that without stumbling all over the place. Now, the first thing is identify. For the audience to follow where you're trying to take them, you need to know exactly where you're going. So I want you to write this question down. What is the primary learning outcome that I want to convey to the audience when I'm communicating? For example, in this video, there's only one learning outcome. Even though there are five tips, there's one learning outcome, which is what to do to not stumble over your speech when you're communicating. So as long as you know the destination, the way in which you're communicating is already gonna come across more clear because you know where you're going. The second thing is outline. So now that we have our learning outcome, we want to map out exactly how we're going to take the audience there. And you wanna limit this outline to about three to five main points. Take this video, for example. I'm only covering five main tips to get you to the learning outcome of not stumbling over your words when you're communicating. Now, the reason why that is, is as human beings, we only have a capacity to remember in real time no more than five things. And this is backed up by psychological research like Miller's Law or Nelson Carson's Magical Four. It's all because of our working memory. Think about whenever you were in a class and the teacher was trying to cram too much information and you walk out of the class, your brain is hurting and you usually can pick out three to five things that you can remember. So try to limit it between three to five things that really drive that learning point home. And here's the thing, for you to be able to speak and communicate clearly, it's not necessarily the words or finding the right language, it's actually just knowing the flow of how you're going to have that conversation or how you're going to be communicating the message. Now, the third thing is practice. I know it sounds super simple, but I can assure you it's something that works all the time. Here's why. More often than none, the reason why people stumble when they're speaking is because their mind and body is not used to the sensation of speaking and actually doing that in real time. The more you get it out of your system, the more your body and mind becomes trained to how you communicate normally and what it takes for your mind to process and then your mouth to catch up and do that in a way that's clear. And the reason why when you practice, you're just getting it out of your system. It's not the first time when you're on stage that you're getting it out of your system or the first time in front of the video. You're getting used to how it feels. And here's a pro tip. You want to identify what are your go-to filler words when you're practicing. Do you say um a lot? Do you say like? Do you say right? Or do you say, you know, there's all these micro filler words that people have that are their go-to. And I want you to jot them down. And when you do that, you're reminding yourself what to look for whenever you're actually speaking to not use it. And the second thing, I want you to write down all of your favorite go-to words. Not filler words, but your favorite words. For me, I have specific words that I love using and it makes me feel more comfortable whenever I use them. So I try my best whenever I can to include them throughout my speech. 
Now, the fourth thing, slow down. Whenever we're trying to communicate something, we are usually speaking faster than we'd like to because of nerves, because of just wanting to get it done, wanting to get it over with. The problem is whenever you're speaking too fast, the audience can't process. I had to learn this because I'm naturally extroverted, I'm naturally high energy, so I'm always do, 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 I'm go, go, go. It wasn't until I started communicating with my business coach that he was like, you're always here, which is great for energy and for charisma and for confidence, love that. But you have to be able to dial in your pacing so the audience can follow. And the, there's tricks to being able to do this. So when you're saying a final main point, you wanna inflect downward to make sure that people know that you're finished. Or if you're trying to train someone to think about a question, you wanna go upward. But monitor your pacing, because usually nine times out of 10, whenever you're communicating in front of the camera, you're talking faster than you would normally, and people aren't able to catch up, and it just sounds like the Tasmanian devil, just blah, blah, blah. And last but not least, the fifth tip. And I can assure you I left this for last because to me it is the most powerful tip. And when I learned it, when I had to teach public speaking at the college level, it was mind blowing to me. More often than none, the reason why people are not clear when they're presenting something or when they're communicating is because they're too worried about how they're coming across. This is called performance-based anxiety. When you're worried about yourself, you are so in your head and you're unable to be clear because what are people gonna think of me? Do I look good? Do I sound good? Are they enjoying themselves? Versus flipping that perspective and doing a message-centered approach. It's called communication orientation. Your primary focus should be, is the information that I'm conveying clear and easy to understand for the other person? When you make it about the other person versus yourself, you take a lot of that pressure, so your ego is kind of deflated, which is a good thing, because we don't want to be focused too much on ourselves, and there's not that pressure to quote unquote perform, and instead, you focus on, am I delivering this succinctly? Am I using language that they understand? Am I paced well enough for them to be able to follow? Is my outline clear? The second you make that flip from a performance-centered mindset to a message-centered mindset, you start to be able to communicate in a way that people can genuinely follow and you come across more convicted, confident, and clear. And that's it for the five tips on how to speak more clearly and not stumble over your words. Tell me in the comments below which one of the five were the most powerful for you and why. And of course, press the subscribe button, gently caress that like button, and as always, every day, all day, until the final days, welcome to the last day of your life. What are you doing? We'll see you on the next one. Peace.